Hi, I'm Angie Garling, the National Director for Early Care and Education at the Low Income Investment Fund. On behalf of LIF, we are so pleased to see the historic investment in early care and education through the American Rescue Plan. This piece of legislation will be critical to supporting and strengthening the sector and rebuilding our economy. Thank you to all who worked directly and tirelessly to make this a reality. We know this is a critical first step to sustaining the industry. On the heels of this important announcement, LIFT strongly endorses another piece of legislation being reintroduced today, the Child Care's Infrastructure Act. What is this bill, you may ask? Well, despite the importance of high quality early care and education facilities in advancing child development and supporting the workforce's health and safety, there is no dedicated source of funding at the federal level to acquire, construct, and renovate early care and education facilities. The Child Care and Development Block Grant, or CCDBG, is the nation's main child care subsidy program. However, CCDBG resources can only be used for minor renovation and repair and not the necessary infrastructure modifications that many programs require to meet quality standards. Further, it's a limited resource with many competing demands. Based on congressional recommendations released in May 2019, Congresswoman Catherine Clark has introduced this act. The bill would dedicate $10 billion over five years specifically to address the nation's early care and education facility needs. It takes a three-pronged approach to addressing facilities by providing first critical technical assistance, capacity building, and financial products offered with an intermediary frame. Also, dedicated capital for infrastructure grants and a national assessment of need. We strongly support the Child Care as Infrastructure Act. This bill will ensure that ECE facilities receive the dedicated resources and attention they deserve. And it's particularly urgent as the nation's already limited supply of child care spaces is further squeezed by ECE programs permanently closing during the pandemic. We applaud Congresswoman Clark for her leadership on this critical yet often overlooked element of the child care sector.